Hey guys, it's uh, Hitman Jared here to do another commentary. Um, this time I want to talk about playing the heavy class in Team Fortress 2. Uh, I don't I don't play TF2 all that much, but uh, lately I've been having a lot of fun with the uh, heavy slash medic combo. Uh, I usually play engineer, but uh, I've been having some success playing as as like I said the heavy medic combo. And I kind of want to talk about some of the strategies in this commentary, some of the things I do to keep myself alive and the medic alive and, and get some kills. Um, I don't really have anything fancy on my heavy as far as equipment goes. I just use the default guns, you know, the minigun, the shotgun. Um, I do like the fast running gloves though in case the medic dies early or, or I mean in case I die early and the medic's still alive, I can run back to him and it's especially useful if he has a uh, uber charge ready to go and I can run back and get to him right away. Uh, I cut out the deaths in this video to kind of make it a little bit more interesting and not so boring. Um, it's, it's pretty much one uh, playthrough before it switches maps but uh, I did cut out the deaths and uh, so basically the first thing I kinda wanna talk about is the like getting overwhelmed as a, as a heavy class you know especially when you have a medic you can get kinda cocky you can feel like you can run in there and just kill anything but as you'll see here in a second in this video I got the soldier guy attacking me and then there's like three or four heavy guys coming up here to my right and there's also some snipers up there and so what I kinda do is I take some cover you know, I take a peek here and I notice, you know, I'm definitely going to die if I go over there. So I run back and this kind of gives the, you know, an advantage to you because the enemy players will most likely switch targets. You know, they won't just stare at the wall and wait for you to come around again. So you can come back after you disengage them and then uh, hopefully get some kills. They will be distracted by something else at that point. Or if you have an uber charge like in the video, you can use that when you come back and, and kill them instead of just running in there and dying. So after you clear out the objective like I did there, um, here I'm kind of running towards the the spawn point which uh, some people may think I'm getting greedy but really I mean it helps the team especially in maps like this where you're holding an objective for a set amount of time to win um, you know I'm killing them at their spawn I'm, I'm gonna die like there I got knifed in the back you know you're gonna die anyway so you might as well waste your life holding them at spawn a little bit longer that's delaying them it's distracting them and the, and you know it gives your team longer time to get to get more points and to win the objective so I think that's a pretty decent strategy even though you're gonna most likely die after a while and uh, here I just ran into a spy there and that's the next thing I want to talk about is spy checking you know I'm constantly running around in circles checking my back shooting behind my medic if he's usually behind me making sure there's no spies coming around to, to knife him or knife me and they're actually at knifed in the back ironically <laughs> as I'm talking about it but you know I was distracted by that other guy so spy checking is, is pretty much that's like number one almost I'd say is, is you gotta constantly be looking behind you it's pretty easy to tell if someone's running at you and they're not firing their weapon or they're not reloading it's 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 pretty easy to tell when there's an enemy spy or if you if you're if you don't see anything you can always fire your gun and if you see some flashes of red or blue you know the opposite team that you're on it's, it's probably a spy and you should kill them um, so the second part of the video here is a different map and it's just kind of me defending and, and just kind of using the heavy medic combo and stuff like that I didn't really have a whole much else to say I just kinda wanted to throw out a couple tips there that I've been learning about the heavy medic I might do a couple more videos maybe I'll do an engineer one since I have most of my experience in an engineer but uh... so that's about it go ahead and keep uh, watching if you want to see the rest of it and uh... thanks subscribe like whatever if you feel like it
There we go, guys. Good job. This is awesome. That was a good job. Good job, guys.